Hi and welcome to my channel. You are watching Figure Facts. This is Dr. Alphonse Saburoswamy. In this video, we are going to see about end feel. First of all, what is an end feel? An end feel is a sensation the examiner feels in the joint as it reaches the end range of motion. When assessing passive movement, the examiner should apply over pressure at the end range of motion to determine the quality of the end feel. The key word is passive movement, over pressure and quality of the end feel. End feel is otherwise the resistant offer by the tissues for passive movements at the end range of motion. If the patient is able to hold a position at the physiological range without provoking any symptom, then this end feel can be tested. If the patient has severe pain at the end range of motion, end feel should not be tested. Then let us know why it has to be tested. Because end feel can be tested to determine the pathology what is the patient is undergoing, to determine the prognosis of the condition whether it is going to take a long time or it will be recovering faster and to understand the severity of the problem what the patient is undergoing. Even though this single technique is not going to determine the exact changes what is happening, these techniques are also going to help for a physical therapist to build an idea what is the problem and what is the prognosis or what can be done for the patient's benefit. Then why we need to test this to a patient, I'll tell one example. If a patient comes to a clinic or to the physical therapist and say, I am having pain in the shoulder. Otherwise, the patient is telling, I am not able to lift the shoulder up. The therapist cannot directly take that he is having stiffness in the shoulder. The reason can be pain in the shoulder, muscle weakness, or stiffness, or anything else. So, the therapist will decide that he have to test the end fill by doing passive range of motion so that he can understand what is the tissue resistance at the end fill for the overpressure. Let us know about the normal end fill first. Every joint in our body have a restraint or a constraint which limit the range of motion. For example, ankle dorsiflexion. This is limited by the posterior capsule as well as the tendo Achilles. Another example is the elbow extension. The movement is limited or the movement ceases, comes to an end by the bony contact of olecranon over the humerus. So these are the normal end fields. Let us understand about normal end fields. These are described by Syriax. He said there are three types of end fields in our body. They are soft tissue approximation, tissue stretch, bone to bone. Let us read each end fill in detail. Soft tissue approximation. The name itself telling the soft tissues are coming together. These sensations are like pushing firm pillows together because muscle and fats are pushing together and restricting the movement. So we are getting that soft feel. For example, elbow flexion and knee flexion where when the forearm and arm comes closer to each other, the forearm muscle as well as arm muscles are getting pressed to each other. Now we will get a soft feel. If the person is very thin and this soft feel may not be appreciated to that extent. Second end feel, normal end feel is tissue stretch. Hard or firm type of movement with a slight give. This is one key point here. For the passive range of motion at the end range, there will be a slight give. In the sense, little motion can be attained by applying over pressure at the end range of motion. It is the most common type of end feel in our body. Maximum end feels are of this type tissue stretch where firm feel will be achieved. At the end range, a feeling of elastic resistance or springy as feeling in Achilles tendon or wrist flexion stretch. It is found when capsule and ligaments are the primary restraint of movement as the lateral rotation of the shoulder, knee extension and metacarpophalangeal extension. And last one is bone to bone. Here the feel what you get at the end range of motion is hard and painless because the bone contacting another bone which is restricting the range of motion or limiting the range of motion feels like pushing two hard objects together. Example elbow extension. This particular moment I wanted to tell 
How end you feel? Example here given is a hinge joint elbow extension. Please do not wrongly interpret another hinge joint knee will also have hard end feel. The hinge feel of knee extension is different. It is firm. One more important point is that end feel has to be checked to each and every moment in a joint. Let us see the individual end feel of each moment in the body. Shoulder, elbow and wrist. I already said most of the end feel of the joint movements are firm, tissue stretch. There are few joints or movements that possesses soft and hard end feels. That alone you see now, elbow flexion soft, elbow extension is hard end feel. Interesting thing is that pronation gives hard end feel, it can also be firm. If radial head and the ulna coming in contact to each other, hard end feel will be seen. At times, the ligaments are also limiting the range of motion. In that case, it will be firm. And wrist radial deviation gives hard end feel. So this is the interesting end feels in the upper limb. As I said before, most of our joint movements are giving firm end feel. Let us see only the other end feels in the lower limb. Hip flexion gives us soft end feel, soft tissue approximation. Knee flexion also shows soft end feel, soft tissue approximation. If you note there carefully, knee extension gives firm end feel, soft tissue stretch or tissue stretch. This is definitely different from elbow extension because every time when you compare knee flexion, then we think about elbow flexion. When you say about the elbow extension, then we will think about knee extension. But make sure the end feels of elbow extension and knee extension is different. I have seen many students giving wrong answer about knee extension end feel. Ankle. Eversion is showing hard end foot. Yeah, this is something we have to really appreciate because when you read each end feel of the each movement, it is giving depth of knowledge about the end feels. Hard end feels example eversion and in upper limb radial deviation, pronation and elbow extension. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Thank you.